In this Photoshop tutorial, I'll show you how to make water effects and reflection effect on photos with the ground. I opened the image I want to make a reflection effect. The image comes here as a background. I need to convert this layer to a smart object. I right click and choose convert to smart object. So this layer becomes a smart object. Let's give it a more proper name. I'm going to call it as image. Here is what we are going to do next. I'm going to create another empty space at the bottom equal to the size of this photo. So I choose image, comma size. A window like this will open. In this window, I select the up arrow as the anchor point because I want to create an empty space at the bottom. We can also enter twice this size here, but there is a much easier method. I click on pixels and select percent. Right now, the photo size is 100%. I want to double the high value, so I set it to 200 and click OK. When I click OK, we have created a new free space equal to the size of this photo. I duplicate this layer. I duplicate it with Ctrl J. I open the transform feature with Ctrl T and right click on this image and select vertical. We can confirm by pressing the enter button. I'm going to slide this image down. I'm going to slide it so that it's in the empty space. And I'm going to change the naming of the bottom layer to reflection because it's going to be a reflection. What we are going to do next will affect the bottom layer. Therefore, we will make the reflection effect. First, we will give the motion blur effect. Filter, blur, motion blur. First of all, the angle value will be 90 degrees. If you make it vertical, it will look like water. Although, it will vary according to the photo. You can leave it at the rate you think is the water effect. There should be a slight blur. This way, I think it's okay. Now, let's do the wave part on the water. I go to filter, distort and wave. And a window will appear with options like this. In this window, I set the first value number of generators to 100. Look, there is another area here where we can preview the changes we have made. We can also look here. I'm going to set the wavelength value to 1 by 20. The bottom value to 1 by 20. And because I don't want this ovality, I'm going to set the vertical value here to 1. Then I click on the OK button and it looks like this. I'm going to create a copy of the reflection layer. Let's call it reflection 2. After creating a copy, we are going to delete this wave effect. We can also remove its visibility. We can also delete this effect, this filter, by clicking directly on the layer and moving it to the trash can. Now I click on the mask icon and I select the gradient tool. Let's prepare our gradient tool to be in black and white colors and to be the first option among the gradient options. I drag it from the bottom up. The parts that seem to be close to us are wavy. But as we move away, we seem to reduce this wave a little bit. Since we are blurring, we will also need to fix the gaps at the top and bottom of the image. Control click to select both the reflection and reflection two layers. Control T again to activate the transform feature. And then Alt and Shift to stretch in both directions. Then we can click the enter button. As you can see, it's a nice transition. But let's make some changes to the water color. Thinking that the water color will be a little bit different. When I'm on reflection 2, I click on the adjustment button and select channel mixer. When I select this in the properties panel, let's expand it a little bit. You will see the color blue in the properties panel. We can give our image a slightly different look by changing this color. Look, I'm moving it to the left and it turned slightly blue. But all layers are affected. I want only this area to be affected. So I right click on the channel mixer and select create clipping mask. This sets itself to affect only the layer below. Therefore, we see the water color a little differently on the image. If you wish, we can do the same thing to this bottom layer in terms of color. I select the reflection layer, select channel mixer, right click, select create clipping mask and now I can change it with the blue tone. You can make edits in this way. If the wave effect here is bothering you, you can rearrange the wave values. Since this is a smart object, we can rearrange the filters you added. I double click on the wave effect. I change the value of 100 to 60. Look, it's changed a little bit more. By changing these values, you can make it look nice for yourself. If you wish, you can change channel mixer. You can also choose color balance. Let's make a change with color balance quickly. If you choose color balance, you can get a water color by changing the values here. The color values. That's it for this video. In this video, I showed how to give the reflection effect. I hope it was useful. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.